This is one oil guzzling hog for whatever reason. I guess small engines burn a lot of oil. But, uh, got a really good deal on this stuff. I'll put the link down in the description. I got like basically a lifetime supply of this in the dealer's store. This would be like $15 a bottle. I bought it in bulk and got it for $5 a bottle. We've got a little mist going now, so I'm just gonna mess with the camera a little bit. I have to keep wiping that off. It wasn't misting an hour ago. I've got about an hour and a half of light left, and I figured I'd go run real time. Got a spare battery with me. And I haven't decided where to go yet, but I'm gonna go to the start of a large route and run it real time for you, see what I can scrounge up. It's a Thursday evening, so it shouldn't be too bad. Well, I said I was gonna make a real time video, but I'm gonna have to change those plants. The mist is a little too heavy. Once I start moving, it's actually enough to mess up the screen, the camera lens. That right there is a little T-ball, T-ball action. It's a cheap one, but I'm gonna have to put that in a free tail store. It'll definitely come in useful to somebody. And uh, some nice pieces of lumber in there. Some quality stuff. If you need some two by fours or whatever size that is. Nice big ones too, look at it. Bunch of them in there. I have to just come back and just put that in my storage unit later because that's that's nice stuff and uh, that's a big rack pieces of glass used to fit in there it would appear too bad the glass hit in there that's nice it would be nice anyway glass table probably there I don't see any glass around here there's a vacuum buried underneath all that stuff I'm not gonna mess with. Some tin shed in there. The price of tin shed is in the, in the toilet, so I'm not gonna mess with none of that. Although I am gonna take care of this guy. Up here, these dumpsters are juicy. Filled up a lot of stuff. It's good. Nice piece of aluminum. That Christmas tree will go as tin shed of scrapyard if you wanted to take it there. It's another piece of aluminum. Something like that out of work. Something in there's rattling. Look at that. <laughs> Turn that vacuum on. Okay. little motor in there take that piece of plastic off just going to skip the tin shirt today for the most part and there's a cord here hey is that one of those ones that's got a storage thing in it nope it's not this is a CRT TV I wonder why they threw that away. This 
starting to turn into a light rain so I may not make a video at all Let's see what happens here those clouds don't look all that impressive bad brand. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that thing works. Okay, I found uh, some cords. Oh, one more cord. A flat screen TV and then a couple of DVD players. They're just cheapies. They might work. Even if they work, they're not gonna be worth a whole lot. It's just those cheap plastic kinds. So I'll just take those straight to the scrapyard. This. this is something I've never seen before. Check this out. Guy's got a lock. Look at it. Caps lock. That's a pretty neat little invention. I've never seen something like that before. Although, I'm pretty sure the people that steal scooters will just have a pickup truck and a couple guys will just jump out and throw the scooter in the back of a truck. <laughs> and then they just worry about the locks later. I think that's basically usually how that goes. Look at that, those mattresses are still in there. Nasty. That's that brick wall that got knocked over. Look at that, they fixed it up. Not really something I want to wrestle with, but slim pickings so far. This is almost good enough to go as short steel at my scrapyard. Um, when it gets to be much thicker than that, they'll call it short steel. Uh, short steel needs to be shorter than three feet at the scrapyards I go to. And if it's longer than three feet, they call it long iron, and long iron's less than short steel. So I guess it's mainly a transportation thing, even though they're using train cars and um, semi trailers and stuff, they still do the same thing I do. <laughs> small, heavy things are still, you know, they consider small, heavy things more valuable than big. Bigger things. I've talked about that before. Um, I'll take small pieces of heavy steel and tin and skip big bulky things. I guess that's kind of common sense, but anyways, I think it's kind of interesting. The smaller and heavier. Of course you can transport and make more money, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I made a little pit stop here. I'm gonna go run the Walmart route. Uh, if, this, if it stays dry like this, I'll do it real time. I'm not actually going to Walmart, but for those of you that watch my videos, sometimes I'll talk about the Walmart route. So I'll show you exactly what that consists of right here.
is a bank. Look at that. All these, I think those are all Dell computers or Dell monitors. Hey, look at that suit. You know what? I wanted to show you this route I was going to run, but if that has a brand new mouse in every one of those boxes, that's quite a bit. Let's get a new stand. Yeah, they're monitors. Monitor stand. I thought that was a mouse. It's not a mouse, but it's a, it's a USB cord. And a power cord and a monitor stand and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be every one of those boxes yeah look at it every one of these boxes I'm gonna come back later and get this I don't want to waste the sunlight dealing with this stuff that's a nice piece of steel right there base to the, or the probably hooks to the back of the monitor maybe but a new USB cord brand new brand new power cords in every one of these boxes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten boxes so i'm gonna come back later and get the rest of those i don't want to waste my time i want to show you the rest of this route that's walmart right there so that's kind of the hub to this route here i'm gonna go up here and then go back down this way towards home So, you know, I mean, retail value, if you were to go to Walmart or somewhere and buy a brand new USB cord, I mean, those are not cheap at the store. Online, you can get them, of course, for a lot cheaper than you can at a brick and mortar store, but uh, that's a decent value to those. Just in, you know, just the plain fact that you have a few of them laying around for your own use, you know. Make sure I got this camera at the right angle. Make sure I don't make a video. Point down to concrete the whole time. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. I wish the lens was a little longer so you can feel where you're pointing exactly. church building dumpster it receives quite a bit of illegal dumping i'm pretty sure so you never know what you find in here it looks like a big bag of clothes or something now a lot of these dumpsters that sit in abandoned parking lots for most of the week this place is totally empty the places like that are real popular hot spots for illegal dumping one one little drop of water on that lens can turn into a big blob
sand of course as soon as I go real time again it's turned into legitimate rain now so that's always great Okay, I know the lens is getting soaked with water, so I'm going to uh, turn it back off. I don't think a real-time video is in the cars today. Kerrigs are pretty much the one coffee maker I'll take. They got some real good weight to them. Chunky little dudes. Um, with those monitor stands, those 10 monitor stands that I'm gonna get, um, that's something you can sell on eBay. So considering those are brand new, you know that bank just bought them. So it's probably basically the most recent monitor, most recent model. So those bases might be a lot more desirable than the uh, old TV and monitors I find because I know I've sold the stands off some old ones before so uh, I made a uh, video recently where I took apart a big flat screen TV and talked briefly about selling a stand and so if those stands are complete they're all 10 are the same I can just make one listing on eBay quantity 10 so that, that's a real that's a real score um, if they're complete I believe they are so uh, just say they're each worth $20 that's probably fairly conservative it's just a $200 score just sitting right there plus the USB and the power cords so some, sometimes the most innocent the most uh, simple looking things can just be wonderful scores you know happen to be interested in that video where I took that flat screen TV apart for the circuit boards and a small amount of scrap that's in there that's hard doing right-handed you know <laughs> my left hand knows how to do it um, I'll link it up down in the description if you want to check it out where I live uh, you gotta take the screens out of TVs and monitors scrapyards won't take the screens and it just takes way too long for the amount of money if you live somewhere where it just takes the whole TV then that's a nice piece of scrap chili pepper alrighty that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video uh, I went through a little business park area, a little industrial park area, and got one dirty oil filter. How exciting is that? But I've talked about banks before in my videos, about how usually you'll find nothing. Uh, but sometimes they'll throw out equipment, and they are a plethora of potential possibilities, perhaps. So uh, they're worth checking every now and then. In this case, it's actually brand new stuff. And uh, I was lucky enough to get it on a real-time video as it happened. This isn't something I peeked in and then turned the camera on, so that's kind of neat. Anyways, I'm just going to turn the camera off and do this real quick before I attract any attention to myself. Uh, this is probably something you'd want to do after hours, but anyways, I think uh, 
that first one I pulled out, I don't know if that plate was in it. I think it was. Or maybe I misplaced it. But uh, yeah, there's the plate right there. So I think I think they're all going to be complete. So I think my guesstimate of twenty dollars is probably pretty close. Anyways, I'll uh, take these home and show them to you real quick. Check this out. Here it is. I was wrong about this plate. I'm just looking at it real quick. I thought maybe that went to the back of the monitor somehow. That's actually the base. And I was wondering where the hardware screws were to put it together. Check this out. It's got a handy dandy screw. Just sits in there. It's the bottom. Check it out. Look at that. We think about that. You might help our grease. Thanks, Grizz. What would I do without you, Grizz? So there it is. Brand new, 10 of them. Uh, the first plate was in there. I didn't know what I was doing on the first one. <laughs> they were all in there. 10 of those. And each one had two USB cords and a power cord. And uh, I pulled it up on eBay. Check this out. $35 free shipping. $25, $4 shipping. 15 and 13 shipping, 30 and free shipping. So I was pretty close. I could probably sell them for 25 and 10, 12 shipping with the eBay discount. Plus a $20 profit on each one. It'll take a while to sell them, but uh, there they are. Being new, being able to list them as new is, is definitely a bonus. There's 145 free shipping. Uh, 20 and 22 shipping, which would be 42. So I, I was about right. $20 profit on each one. Each one's basically a $20 bill. Um, there's no other hardware that comes with them. It looks like the monitor slips right on these tabs on the top here. See this tabs? Here's to just slip down over there. And uh, that's it. That's nice. That's a nice, clean, modern stand. Uh, well-made heavy base. First comment I made about it when when I found them in the video, I said that's a nice piece of steel. Yeah. Had scrap on the mind, but uh, it's a nice base, nice clean, simple design. I like it a lot. No screws to lose. Oh yeah, uh, each one came with uh, two UBC uh, uh, USB cords and a power cord. This one's showing with three USB cords, but. Uh, so I'm going to throw those in with it and say accessories. So that might uh, juice up the price a little bit. I noticed some of these other ones that I was listing off, they don't have the three cords to go along with them. Doesn't look like anyways, as I scan down through here, except for this one here. I suppose it would have been good if I got the original box, but those boxes were kind of big and bulky really don't want to ship something that large so it's no problem boxing that up real nice got the original packing and stuff but anyways i sure hope you enjoyed this video and as always thanks for watching fuzz what's up fuzz fuzz where you going come here fuzz come here fuzz look at this you want to play with these <laughs> bye fuzz I got the camera off, Grizz, hurry up! <laughs>